All right, so man finally got some hands-on time with the new Motorola G35, one of the cheapest phones in the Motorola G lineup. Yo, what's good people, it's man like Jamo. So last week, now end of August 2024, Motorola flew us out to Belgrade, Serbia to drop four new phones on us. One of them was the Motorola Edge G35, one of their cheapest and newest additions to the Motorola G lineup. Now, just in case you've somehow landed on this video, but you do not know about the different ranges that Motorola deal with, they basically do the Edge range, which is their top tier premium smartphone, like the Galaxy S range for Samsung. And then they do their entry level to mid tier range, which is their Moto G range, which usually is actually their most popular range because some people are normal and they just want a phone that works, has a good camera and looks and feels premium without actually breaking the bank. And that's exactly what these Moto G ranges do. Now, let me drop specs on you quickly as this is a first impressions. We've got a processor that I've actually never heard of called the Unisoc T760. Never heard of it in my life. Gonna definitely have to see some benchmarks on that thing. But that comes coupled with either four gigs or eight gigabytes of RAM, which is boosted to eight gigs or 16 gigs if you want to use the RAM boosting and you get 128 gigabytes of storage in there with that as well. Now moving on to display, you got the 6.7 inch thing, which is relatively large at this price point kind of thing. No OLED though, straight LCD, no high refresh rate, straight 60 Hertz maximum, and you get 1000 nits peak brightness. Battery pack is 5,000 milliamps hours, which will definitely give you a lot of battery life on that processor and them specs right there. Now, obviously I didn't get to play around with the cameras that much, but what we got going on is a 50 megapixel ting on the back together with an eight megapixel ultra wide ting on the back as well. You also got a 16 megapixel selfie shooter on the front of the camera for all your selfie endeavors. Now, obviously, as you can see by the specs, it's definitely not the most exciting phone you've probably heard about in your life. But when you consider that the price point is £149, it starts to put things into perspective. This is a brilliant phone for your children, for your little ones, or for someone that just doesn't really care about smartphones. Someone that just wants one, that will work. They don't need it to be extra flashy and they don't want something that breaks the bank. This is what you're getting with the Motorola G35. I might get my hands on it just see how good it would be for someone like myself that is a power user on a smartphone but um no nah, definitely should be good for those of you that are looking for something a little small and cheap and effective anyway let me know what you guys think in the comment section below